Hey everybody, welcome back to Hybrid Entertainment, your one-stop shop for pop culture discussions and news pieces. Netflix's newest series, The Witcher, is fast approaching, set to arrive to our small screens on December 20th to introduce us to a new interpretation of Andrei Sapkowski's dark fantasy world. Henry Cavill is set to portray the titular character Geralt of Rivia as he navigates the world of the continent and further realizes the true depths that humanity can steep to when confronted with things they don't comprehend. That's all fine and good, and it's certainly looking to be an interesting series when it drops, but there's most likely one question on the minds of those unfamiliar with the project. What the hell is a Witcher? So, conceived within the 1986 short story Veachman, and later expanded upon in further stories and writings, Witchers are, in the broadest sense of the term, monster hunters that have undergone intense physical, magical, and alchemical augmentation to become what they are. White hair that rivals the purest of snow. Eyes that glow and pierce in the deepest pitches of darkness, and feats that greatly surpass that of regular humans, witchers have made their mark on the continent as hunters of the uncanny and as outcasts of humanity. But what exactly goes into the process of making a witcher? Taken from a young age, witchers are raised from the ground up as children that are subjected to a number of fierce training regiments, from weapon proficiency to the use of signs, which are hand gestures that allow for quick implementation of magic when in combat. Still, there is one key component that separates a witcher from regular human beings, the trial of the grasses. Witchers need to be even greater than the best. They need to surpass typical human limitations. As such, they undergo a process by which they ingest various alchemical concoctions and mutagenic compounds that change their overall physiology. They obtain strength, speed, endurance, stamina, reflexes, and senses that leap far beyond typical human ability. Their body changes to accommodate these new augmentations, and the process leaves them with piercing orange eyes and stark white hair, cementing them as augmented and separating them from those that they protect in their services. The process itself has the subject undergo immense agony. It's been recorded that only three out of every ten children survive, and for those that do make it through the trial, they must further undergo rigorous training to be eligible for the title of Witcher. A Witcher's training undergoes numerous fields. As we've already discussed, they implement low-level magic through the use of signs, and they have intense weapons training which makes them proficient in a number of different fighting styles. However, they also learn a good deal on alchemical mixtures and potions, the likes of which would be typically inaccessible for humans. Thanks to the trials, witchers obtain a high degree of tolerance for most toxins and potions, allowing them to use them as resources in situations that would otherwise prove fatal. This allows them an extra edge in battle against magical creatures, able to use a number of precautions against them rather than simply relying on their enhanced abilities. Witchers are, above all else, efficient hunters, doing everything they can to ensure that they complete an assignment. In addition to thorough knowledge on potions, witchers also outfit themselves with appropriate weaponry made to fit any situation, which extends to their call sign of two swords holstered on their back. This is not simply for show or for lack of space. In fact, it only adds to a witcher's preparations, as these two swords serve a specific purpose. One sword is made for more mundane creatures and human enemies, those that do not affiliate with magical and supernatural forces. However, a specific metal causes a deep revulsion in the continent's creatures, proving to be some sort of repellent for them. Silver. As such, witchers outfit themselves with a sword for both instances, one made of steel and the other of silver, allowing them to prepare for multiple scenarios and confrontations. Of course, due to this nuanced preparation and enhanced physiology, there is perhaps one enemy that a witcher will always have to contend with. Prejudice. Witchers are reviled by most human beings of the continent, their mutated existence only serving as proof to many individuals that they are less than human and are dangerous to the existence of humanity within the continent. Due to this perceived abhorrent nature, it's probably no surprise that all manner of stories and tales of witchers are pervaded by those that despise them. People find the very notion of paying for protection by these cell swords to be a gruesome way of life, and too often mistrust breeds in those that believe witchers cheat clients in their misfortune, profiting off of their misery. This goes hand in hand with the prevalent myth that witchers are emotionally distant beings, that their chemical augmentation has left them incapable of sharing emotional connections with the world around them. While witchers have been known to be distant, this is overall just that, a myth. 
Geralt of Rivia is as much an indication of that, as the Witcher series prides itself on exploring his vast emotional wellspring and deeper connection with those close to him. Geralt might not wear his emotions on his sleeve, but it's quite clear just by his example that Witchers are much more human than others would have the continent believe. They simply keep these emotions much closer to the vest. Of course, we'll be seeing for ourselves just how deep that emotional attachment goes once the Witcher hits our cues on December 20th. Until then, did you like this discussion on The Witcher, and is there anything else in the vast world of Andrzej Sapkowski's world that you'd like to see explored? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll consider it for future videos. Go ahead and leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and subscribe for more content just like this. Be sure to hit the bell notification as well to be updated on future content when it drops. Drop us a follow on Twitter, and check out our website for even more content, reviews, and news pieces from Hybrid Entertainment. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you all next time.